Okay guys, so around 12.22, somebody came in and told me that Zane is born. He is really handsome, my mom FaceTimed me. I'm sitting here right now in the postpartum, waiting for somebody to come get me so I can go into the recovery room and see him and my sister. I'm so happy, you don't even know. When he couldn't get the boob, he was mad, like mad mad. He jumped on her chest and everything, like a monkey. <laughs> Hello, boy. I, I get to go see my nephew. Hello. Hello. He was opening his eyes so much. Even when he like, just came out, his eyes were open. He's so cute. <laughs> Why does Ron no. want to get out of here? Yeah. Sarah. <laughs> gang, gang. <laughs> Look at that face. So handsome. So perfect. You did good. You a boss out here. You ain't gonna see mama. Yeah, you ain't gonna go see. He's sleeping so peacefully. He is. Is he about to smile? Look at him! My hands are That's boy. mama. I love you. I love you. So much. Damn, my sister is a whole mom. I know, it's like... I'm a whole aunt. That is ridiculous. My baby. Yeah, and he is so cute. Kissing. Okay, give me a kiss, Kate. Oh, whoops. Wow, you're shaking. I know. <laughs> Rachel, I haven't talked you either. <laughs> but that's okay. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. He's straight chilling. He is. He's not even my face. <laughs> Mommy's voice sounds a little raspy. Yeah, is Moshi looking at you? Say hi, Moshi. Say hi. Yeah, that's Moshi. <laughs> Get some of the what? The ice. I got my meal for tonight. I got this nasty beef broth. Which tastes like dirty dishwater, but the jello slaps. Back to the vlog. Ew. Yo, what up? It's your boy, Big Mamu. Mm. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> Where's Sarah? <laughs> Sarah, what's the baby calling you? Uh, whatever you want. What's the Filipino? Um, Tita. Tita. Oh, poop. We got poopy. We got his Wait, first Rachel, poopy. Take a picture of his poop because we'll have to show the, we'll have to show the Ooh, nurse. Okay, okay, hang on. Let me get you. They're changing his first poopy diaper. Just, just, just my going to some Rachel, <laughs> it doesn't even smell or anything, does it? So what happened to you? Well, so I was going to see if he peed. And he pooped. Literally just kept pooping and kept pooping and kept pooping. I was getting flustered. Yes, I was. Because it was like everywhere. Oh, no. <laughs> Is this your head above? I'm so cute. You know what I mean? Oh my 
Hi guys, good morning. It is, is today Thursday? Thursday, July 2nd. No, I think it's. Oh, did I? Oh, it is. It's Friday. Whoa. Today's Friday, July 2nd. This little bundle of joy was born yesterday. Meet Zane Elia. He was 6 pounds, 15 ounces, 20 inches long. Born at 12 12 p.m. Um, I didn't get to vlogging much yesterday just because. Things did not go exactly how um, I had expected them to. Not that I had any expectations, like I told you guys. Any way that he was born was going to be the perfect way as long as he was healthy. And he is healthy, which I'm so grateful. But basically, after like three days of labor, I was just not progressing with the induction. They called it a failed induction. But I did like four doses of Cytotec, two orally, two vaginally. I did a vaginal dose of Cervidal and uh, woke up the next morning and still had not dilated past a one and then I did two more doses of Cytotec and we could start the Pitocin after that because my cervix had like softened out and everything but I was only dilated at a one then they checked me again the next day and I was dilated to like a one and a half it just was not progressing the Pitocin was causing obviously really bad contractions my pain wasn't really being managed like the fentanyl didn't work when I took it Next step was an epidural, which would slow down my contractions. It was just like, how much more of this am I supposed to go through? Um, so finally, my nurses and the doctor and the midwife came in, and they all agreed, like, this is probably not going to progress where we want it to be, and how much longer do you really want to sit here? And we should kind of do this now while Zane is still healthy um, and not having any complications. Like, the whole time I'm going through torture... <laughs> He's literally chilling in there. They're checking his heart rate and everything. And he's been, he was perfectly, perfectly fine the entire time. Didn't have any issues with his heart. No issues at all. Oh, this thing's like coming out of my nose. So they're not giving me oxygen. This is to check my um, C2 output. C no, I can't even think. C2. My CO2 output. <laughs> so that's why I have this in. But I just have to have it until 12 o'clock today. Oh, so then I had to have a C-section, obviously. And it was the best, best, best decision for me. I mean, as long as Zane came out healthy. And uh, he clearly is. And he's so adorable. That was all that really mattered. Sorry to keep yawning. It is currently 5 o'clock in the morning. I did get some sleep last night. They took him to the nursery for a few hours. And, you know, cuddled on him and fed him and all that. Um, I am working on breastfeeding and I'm pumping and I'm still trying to get him to latch and do all the things. But it's definitely hard. I will not lie. Like, I didn't anticipate it would be so hard and my milk hasn't really come in. So they are giving him donor breast milk in the meantime. My C-section, like, I'm doing okay. I'm able to get up and walk around. I just used the bathroom for the first time. And I'm being encouraged to, like, walk around today and stuff. So I feel pretty good. I'm sore, but it's not, not overly painful yet, at least. Um, they still have me on this nose thing. They still have me on the IV um, fluids, and they're giving me some pain medicine. My mom had to go home last night, so Rachel doesn't need to show her. She's, like, in her blanket over there. But my mom had to go home last night because only one person can stay overnight in postpartum. But she'll be back today um, during the day, which is good. But, yeah, I'm just soaking up these moments with this little boy that I've waited so long for. And he is so perfect. Even all the nurses and everybody were saying yesterday, oh my god, Zane is so cute. And they all told me, like, we don't tell people that their babies are cute. Normally, they're not. I'm so sorry. I can't stop yawning. <laughs> like, we usually will say, like, oh, your baby's so sweet or something. But they were like, no, Zane is so cute. And he's such a bundle of joy. And he's just so chill and calm. And, yeah, he's a really good baby. Just look at that face. <laughs> look at that little face. He's so cute. I'm obsessed with him. Even Rachel didn't want to hand him back to me when I asked her to. <laughs> Nobody wants to put him down. But 
I can't wait for everyone else to meet him in the family. Like my grandparents and stuff are gonna be over the moon. I'm gonna have to cut out all these yawns. It's their first great grandbaby, so it's very exciting. Yeah, so I'm just gonna chill with him for a little while as he's sleeping. And I was trying to give him a little bit of a bottle with the donor breast milk, but he's like knocked out, so he doesn't really want it right now. It's okay, he drink like half. Good job, Mousy. Can you hold on my back hurt? <laughs> Hi, my love. Hi, baby. Hi. Is the love when he smiled? It was huge. Now he's trying to protect his head from his like whole oh, mouth wow. open. I know. Oh. Hi. You're so handsome. You're so handsome. <laughs> Your head keep going. <laughs> You're so handsome. Uh -huh. Where are you looking? We're trying to catch him smiling again because he did the biggest smile at his mama. Looking? He's like really listening mm -hmm. to you. Where are you, oh. what are you looking for? Let's start early. Can you say mama? D <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's like, what? Can you say Are you mama? serious, mama? Mama. Mama. Oh. Mama That's and baby. So he him. actually did a good burp when I was holding him earlier. Yeah, he burped when you fed him with a syringe too. I just propped him up one time and pat him and he burped like immediately. So good boy. That's good. You got a drink? Yeah. A little more, Bubba. I know. Mm. <laughs> He's like, do I have to, guys? Gosh. <sighs> first outfit on and mommy took his pictures. Yeah, I only got to call me I don't know why. Me love him so much. Look at my handsome boy. Swaddled and snuggled. We fed him. He's ready to go to bed. Morning guys, today is Saturday, July 3rd. Um, we're still at the hospital today. It's two days past my C-section. Mr. Zane, oh Rachel's over there too. But Zane is there in his bassinet. I just got done feeding him. We had kind of, not a rough night, but like, sorry guys, the nurse came in. I was saying it's been a long night and Rachel was helping me with the baby last night. We were up kind of late. Um, it's been hard, you guys. He's perfect, obviously. But like my breast milk hasn't come in yet, so we're supplementing that with donor breast milk and I have to feed him by syringe and not give him a nipple to cause nipple confusion on top of that i think he's having like some like stomach problems not problems but just like a stomach ache they said he may have still had a lot of amniotic fluid in his system uh since i delivered by c-section that's the other thing i'm in a lot of pain so definitely don't mean to complain of course like i'm grateful and he's amazing like look at him so amazing 
and my sister's been so helpful and everything it's just nobody really prepares you for all things like postpartum oh my god i'm in so much pain my grandma's actually on her way. Uh, thankfully, she can come to the hospital and she's gonna meet the baby for the first time, his great grandma. So I'm excited for that. So Zane slept in the room last night for the first time. I mean, he's only been alive for two nights, so alive. What kind of nonsense am I talking? He's only been <laughs> earthside for two nights. So the first night he slept in the nursery and the last night he slept in the room with me and Rachel. It was quite an adventure. Um, he was like spitting up and having gas and then he do you remember what the nurse called it the blood in his diaper or whatever but it wasn't blood something red in his diaper that i thought was blood so he called the nurse and it wasn't what i thought it was and I'm panicking so first time mom problems i guess all worth it he's definitely worth it i'm just so so tired i think i got maybe one hour of sleep last night so when my grandma comes passing him off to her and then um i can go take a shower finally for the first time in six days so is that okay with you if I go take a shower? But yeah, guys, it's so discouraging. My milk hasn't come yet. I mean, I know it takes women three to five days, I guess. It's only day two for me. But I still feel very discouraged. But I'm going to continue pumping and see what I can do. I'll try to keep doing it every two hours. And then this little fellow. See, what's going on with him? I don't know what all this means. He just ate, so I don't know. Everything he does freaks me out. So I'm still going to pump every two hours, and then he eats every three hours. We've been giving him 15 milliliters of donor breast milk every three hours. So he ate at 5. I'll have to eat again at 8 o'clock. So. Thank you, honey, sweetie. Mm. Let's get How are you hungry? Mm. Hi. Mm. Zane, who's that? That's your Didi Ma. Oh, he got the hiccups. He got the hiccups. He gets them, or he used to get them all the time in the womb. Guys, I feel like a brand new person. <clears throat> I showered. Grandma came and she took over baby duty. Didima. And so I took a shower and I washed my hair. I don't stink anymore. Um, <clears throat> the pediatrician checks Zane and he's good and healthy and all of that so we just need to make sure I'm okay and we can go home today hopefully I'm really really hoping but look at these let me try to get them out look at these two so cute <clears throat> Zane already spit up all over grandma yeah now he's just sleeping well guys are hopefully going to be discharged pretty soon we already packed up the room Rachel, now she brought up the car seat and took all of our crap downstairs. That's going to be a whole other part of the video, of Rachel, um, right, Rachel, of our bags that we packed. Uh -huh. We need to have a discussion about hospital bags because yeah. you do yeah. not need anything. You really don't need anything. We can literally bring a backpack and be good. Just bring some extra underwear and I think you're fine. But like everything else you don't need. This is Zane's going home outfit. So we're just waiting for him to either eat or burp or do something. And then we can get him dressed and hopefully the doctor will come in soon. Oh, oh my. Yeah. 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 Hey, no, Bubba. Partially dressed. Yeah. Almost. He didn't like his hat? He didn't I don't want to put it on yet until he calms down a little. He's looking at me like he's so mad. He's glaring. He can be mad. He needs to eat. Look how cute he is. Look at him. He's mean mugging me, but he looks cute. Okay, take out this post, yeah? Rachel, look at him. Oh, Take a picture of him. Zane, that's almost not fair how cute you are. It's almost not fair, Bubba. 
Chloe, you get to go home. Yay! Oh, nice. My damn toilet. It's like in every single thing I film. First time outside. He's just sleeping away, not looking at anything. Getting ready to go home. Zaney. Zane, we're going home, Mama. Yay! So excited. <laughs> let's go there you go. Home. Hey, let's go Yay. home. First car ride, you guys. <laughs> Even though me and him have already taken a 10-hour road trip together. Yeah. We all coming home. You? No, you no, no, we're just coming home. Yeah, that's when we came back. Oh yeah. Then we're going to get the phone. He's sleeping. Okay. He's chill. Bubba's so home hungry. and awake. <laughs> all right. We're gonna meet Doggy. Oh. Uh. <laughs> cool boy. Say hi, Daddy. Hello, Baba. Hi. Welcome, welcome home. And you too, baby. Thank you. Daddy's looking at you. I know. Say hi, Daddy. Hey. I can carry him. Yeah. Oh. He's okay. Oh. Yeah. Open his hand. Open his hand. Open his hand. Yeah. Oh. 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 That probably scared them. Oh. 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 Hi, baby boy. Yeah. Wow. 